splash when they hired John Gruden to a 10-year, $100 million deal in January. And Gruden has made made major moves this offseason. They've added Jordy Nelson and Doug Martin and gotten rid of multiple starters, including Michael Crabtree, and their meeting with Indama Kinsum today. We're joined once again by Hall of Famer Rod Woodson, who played and coached with the Raiders. Mm-hmm. Rod, will Gruden work in Oakland? I, I'm, I don't want to sound like a scorn lover because <laughs> I was fired by the Raiders. I love Mark Davis. I love the Davis family. But you can't tell me you got rid of Michael Crabtree and you get put Jordy Nelson in there and Jordy Nelson's better than Michael Crabtree. Mm-hmm. That's a lie. Mm-hmm. And I love Derek Carr. Derek Carr is not Aaron Rodgers. All right. So that's completely different. You can't tell me you bring in Doug Martin and they're a better football team. Mm-hmm. Now, I understand Gruden. He's wonderful in, on his, in his TV gig. He did a lot of great things as a coach, but he only won 53% of his games. Ten years, Shay, $100 million. <laughs> I'm hoping Mark Davis had some outs because mm. my question would be, how many Super Bowls do you have to win for $100 million? Mm. Yeah. You give that deal to a Bill Belichick. Absolutely. But to a, to a John Gruden, I, I just it's hard for me to understand. And then he's making a lot of moves. I get it. But those two moves... Crabtree was the he was the the glue to that offense because he gave them a backbone. He gave them toughness. Mm-hmm. Jordy Nelson's not gonna give them that. Derek Carr's not gonna give them that. Now Marshawn Lynch, he could give him that if he's there, if he's playing the whole game. I, I'm not who I don't know with, with that. But John Gruden itself, fifty three percent of the game, he never took that team. To an AFC Championship game when he was coached there, he never took him to a Super Bowl. Yeah, when we, he did go to Tampa, we beat him. Remember, we beat him that year in the champ- in in championship, championship game. Yes, sir, in the championship game yeah. the, uh, the Super Bowl. in, in two thousand. Yeah, two thousand. Mm-hmm. Then he goes to the Super Bowl and he wins the Super Bowl with Tampa Bay Buccaneers right. with Tony Dungy's team. Yeah. So my question is: Is how many times you how many Super Bowls do you have to win if you're John Gruden? For Mark Davis. To justify that. To justify that $100 million. When you heard the news that John Gruden had been hired and you didn't even know the money yet, what was your first reaction? Were you angry? No. I I was, I was surprised about the money. Mm. I wasn't, I mean, who, I don't, it doesn't really matter about who's going to be the coach. Every, every coach has a different style of coaching. He's going to be, he said he's going to take it back to 1998. Good luck with that. Good luck to that. Because these, these guys are millennials. Millennials work, but they only work so hard. So it's a little different out there nowadays. Um, and maybe he's, maybe he is that guy. Maybe he will turn it around. Maybe the second time around or third time around is a charm for him and coming back for the second time around with the Raiders. I'm not really sure, but I just think the hundred million dollars, I'm hoping Mark Davis has some outs where if they're not playing a certain way in five years, that he, he doesn't have to pay him another $50 million. That's good. For me, I don't think, I don't think it's going to work, Skip. I've been abundantly clear. I think the game has passed him by. Uh, you saw the last couple of years he was in Tampa, he wasn't even making the playoffs. That was a re- There's a reason why most times you don't get a John Madden. John Madden left, still at the top of his game, to go into the booth. That's not what John, Gr- John Gruden went to the booth. He got fired. Now, I knew he was coming back still because you and I both knew, knew what he was making. For you to leave that cushy gig and to come back in coaching where it's a year-round job, Oh, they're going to have to give you, you know, at least 20, 30 percent of what you're making there. Because mm-hmm. now you become a full time employee as opposed to just working the six months out of the year. Yeah, you're looking at tape. That's a whole different ball game, Skip. The guys are different now. Everybody, even offensive linemen, think they're a brand. Mm-hmm. Everybody thinks they're a brand. Everybody got Instagram. Everybody got Twitter. Everybody wants followers and likes. It is a different game, John Gruden, than the one you left. Mm-hmm. And if you think you can go back even. Ten years after you, before you left, when you started coaching, 1998. Mm-hmm. That's not going to happen, Skip. This is a different time. He needs to evolve, and I just, I just think too much time has passed him by for him to evolve. Because remember, he said he's taking it back to 98 because that's what he knows. Mm-hmm. I just don't see it work. I mean, Jordy Nelson. I mean, can Jordy play? I still think he has something left. Doug Martin. He hadn't been anything. I mean, and what, you know, Skip, you know, P.E. I, I, so I just don't know what I'm going to get with him. I guess there's a reason why they called him Muscle Hampton. He didn't like that name. He's like, y'all keep that on the hood. <laughs> so, you know, he, 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 he was doing something he had no business. But, but Rod said you don't know what you're going to get from Marshawn either. So it's like right. six of one, half dozen the other, right? right? Okay. Well, they picked up that, uh, what, a million-dollar roster bonus. Mm-hmm. So there's a chance. I guess they, they want him back. But yep. like Gruden said, 
I want Marshawn to be a full-time player. He did. Marshawn has been beast mode for the last six, seven years. It's hard for him to be something other than himself. Mm -hmm. So, John Gruden, you think you've been... He is what he is. He walks his own beat. Yeah. And if to think you're going to pull him back and bring him back to whatever he wants him to be, that is gonna, that's not happening. Mm -hmm. That's not happening. So, maybe I should disqualify myself because <laughs> I consider John Gruden a friend of mine and I'm a fan of his. And I covered him when he coached in Oakland the first go around, and he can create a force field there. He, it's, it's Jimmy Johnson esque. It's not going to last very long, back to your point about what are you going to get over a 10 year period, and you hope he's got some outs. It's, it's a short lifespan, but it can be a great lifespan because he can create energy unlike anybody this eyed to me of Jimmy Johnson. So he's going to change the culture. And I was fascinated by what you said, and you spoke some strong words, but you, you coached a team with Michael Crabtree as the go-to receiver on the offense. He's trying to change the whole culture because he's old school. He thinks Jordy is going to have higher character, higher sort of football character, because Michael could go off and go sideways on you occasionally, but I get your... With Tlaib gone. Well, Ain't no no it, was only, it was only against Tlaib. Give it to Tlaib, they went at it for a couple they, years they in a row. thing. So, John is making, he, he's added the two players we talked about, Jordy and Doug Martin, but he's made about 10 other moves because he's trying to just, you know, reconstruct the whole roster, mm -hmm. deconstruct and reconstruct and start over with a new culture. Right. I will remind you, and I'm going to defend him on one point when you say the game has passed him by. It's hard for a game to pass by a guy who every week of the football season, the last, what do you do, ESPN, five years? Mm -hmm. More than that, what, whatever. But well, every, yeah, he's probably there. probably about eight. Eight, eight years. Yeah. What, what is it? But whatever it is, every week he went and visited with another team, and he sat with more players and more coaches to pick their brains about what are you doing now. So I think he's up to speed. And all the kid quarterbacks came to Gruden's yeah. quarterback camp, right? Mm -hmm. So he get to pick their brains and pick their games apart, and try to figure out who could play and who couldn't. So I think his head has been in football pretty full time since he's been out of coaching. Can he bring it back to, you know, to his 1998 ways? I don't know. He is, a, trust me, he's got a force field personality. He is a leader. He, he can create a vibe unlike anybody I've seen, and he will try to create it immediately there. The problem is, I'm, I'm with you. Derek Carr is not Aaron Rodgers. So I don't know in that, that defense that you coached, is it going to be that much better than it was a year ago? Yeah, we're, we're I mean, you have Khalil Mack. Yeah. Now he's a he's a buff far player. Uh, you know, uh, Bruce Irvin. You know, he can he'll be he's Flash. inconsistent. Yeah. Um, but I, after that, but now what? Who do you have? Uh, and who do they bring? You in? know, they bring in Whitehead. Whitehead is going to help him a little bit. Even though Bowman, you know, I, I love Bowman. Bowman came in and I mean, he he gave us a foundation, right. mm -hmm. solidified the, yeah. the backer position. So you need something like that. If you get a Dama Kasu. Well, then I might say, okay, now no. you're working because now you can put those guys on the same side, right. and then now there's no singling up and sliding to Khalil. Mm -hmm. Now Khalil gets a lot of one on ones. Okay, but if you don't get Dom Gasu, mm -hmm. well, you can forget all that. But you say in your secondary, and Skip, here's the thing: it's one thing to to break down game tape to so to be able to talk X and X's and O's on television. It's another thing to break down game tape and get ready for the prepare game plan. That's what he's going to be doing now, Skip. When's the last time he broke, you know, broke down tape and says, okay, yeah. I'm trying oh, to break wow. this down because this is how I want to attack. And he will break it down because he will yeah. call the play. Yes. Yeah. That's what he does. Yes. Yeah. So he will be the offensive mm -hmm. coordinator. The problem I see is I look at this division. The Chargers are a loaded football team. Yeah. You saw them twice last year. They're just they're loaded. Did they play up to their talent? Maybe not last year, but they're capable of doing that. They got up to that slow start and, with and, no missed kicks. And that is correct. <laughs> yes. And Case, Case Keenum will give you credible quarterback play for the first time in a couple of years. Yes. Where you've got credible quarterback yes. play, which is going to make you a factor. And Kansas City's going with that kid quarterback. He's got a huge arm, but he's got huge weapons. Yeah. Sammy Watkins to Tyreek and, and, and Kelsey. Green. Yeah. Whew. And yeah, Kelsey, wow. You, now, maybe he does have a chance. You're just talking about the, the, the division itself. San Diego, Phillip Rivers, man, that dude, he's that dude's really, awesome. Yeah. That dude's yeah. awesome. I mean, he, yeah. can, he can put it in the basket and from can. any position. Yeah. Then you look, at, you look at Denver. Denver needed a quarterback. Yes. That's all they needed. They needed a quarterback. They got a quarterback. Yeah. Their defense is awesome. Now, they got Rita Tlaib. He's a playmaker. 
How do you how do you make up for that? But you had some depth, as you point. He got he had some depth. I mean, Roby yeah, Roby yeah. the backup was yeah. is a solid player. Yeah. player. So and then you go to Kansas City. Kansas City, you have a lot of weapons, but you got a young quarterback. Mm -hmm. You know, so could he make it happen? I think it's going to be very difficult myself. I really I think it's going to be difficult for him. If he if he's trying to make everybody into what he wants them to be, it, these millennials are different. Their mindsets are different. Mm -hmm. These guys are average players making ten million, twelve million dollars a year, thinking they're great. Mm -hmm. They've never won anything. And so his approach to it, if it doesn't change, we'll see how long it lasts. Because like be, you said, yeah. he's not going to last here for 10 years. No, he won't. Do you he think he'll be, be rooting against the Raiders next year? I'm, no, I, I'm a silver and black guy. I love the silver and black. I love the Davis family. We they, purple and black. You know, blue and orange. I, listen, <laughs> listen I'm, I'm biracial in life. I'm biracial in football, brother. That's true. Yes, true. Right, you only spent one year in 49 Will Trey Young be the next Jimmer for that? We'll discuss that next. Yeah, I will.